House Democrats have fired the first advertising shot in the battle with Republicans over which party will control the Michigan House in 2024. It's our top story today. Thanks for joining us. Now the issue they're concentrating on is gun safety and they're targeting six Republicans who voted no on recent gun safety reform legislation. Our Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik is here for you with more on the early start to the 2024 campaign. The fight for control of the Michigan House is over 300 days down the road, but the state Democratic Party has landed the first punch early on by launching a TV, digital, and billboard ad campaign against six of the most vulnerable House Republicans, all of whom voted no on the gun safety issue. He voted against common sense gun safety reform. But with the election so far down the road, why do this now? planting a seed and then watching it grow. This is going to cause problems for uh, our Republican legislators. House Speaker Joe Tate and his Democratic colleagues know that they have a slim two-vote edge over the Republicans. And to assure that they don't lose that edge, if they can knock off several Republicans in the next election, they can keep control. However, on the other side of the story, one pro-gun lobby group is talking about recalling Democrats who voted for the gun safety issues, which, if successful, could give the Republicans back control. Recallers, however, according to Mr. Porn, have a tougher assignment, since a vast majority of voters favor the very gun safety issues that the six Republicans did not support, including many NRA voters. The NRA is not as strong as it used to be, and uh, when you, they are not representing their members based on our polling that uh, we have done on that issue. And so a recall against doesn't have a chance. MSU shooting story in their commercial, including this student. Imagine what it would be like to be in our shoes and to have that fear. Three of the six commercials are aimed at Oakland County Republicans, including one who represents the Oxford School District, where four students were killed as a result of gun violence. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.